National Museum of China was very popular, uh, even though we went on a Wednesday. Clearly, a lot of tourists from out of town were there from all over China. It, we had to wait in line in order to get in. It was a pretty long line, but it moved fairly quickly. And then your admission is free. All you have to do is show your passport, or if you're a Chinese national, your ID card, and that gets you in. So it's very much like the Smithsonian. Also, very much like the Smithsonian in its size and its scope. This is one massive building with a lot of stuff to see. We really only saw a small portion of it while we were there, and then kind of poked our heads into some of the other exhibits. Now, the museum had a fantastic collection, especially the ancient China exhibit. My only major criticism of this museum, however, is that、uh, it seemed to lack a little bit of creativity in the presentation. A lot of modern museums do a really good job of setting context for the exhibits with lots of interesting presentational methods. This was really your standard old-fashioned museum, which was rooms and rooms of glass cases with things sitting in them. So you had to read a lot. Unfortunately, most everything was translated into English as well. One of the most interesting exhibits I thought was a temporary exhibit of the state gifts. These are the gifts that other countries have given China over the years when they come to visit heads of state. They were gifts from、uh, Barack Obama, from Hillary Clinton, from the state of Illinois, and especially interesting gifts from the Nixon administration when they first opened diplomatic relations with China after the war. Really fascinating to see all these things displayed. We ate at the cafe in the museum, and then we enjoyed a leisurely walk home. The museum is right along Tiananmen Square, down in the central part of the city. One of the interesting things about today is I enjoyed my first、uh, stint as a foreign celebrity. A number of kids who were visiting from Nanjing decided they want to have their pictures taken with me, and were really thrilled by this opportunity. So all these kids from the same school were coming up in throngs and taking picture after picture of me. I was only happy to oblige. I realized that coming to the big city and seeing a, a foreigner is a part of the attraction, part of the excitement, I guess, of, of tourism. For these、uh, Chinese kids, also gave them a very good opportunity to practice their English, and for me, a little bit of an opportunity to practice my Chinese as well. I've got more videos on the way, so if you like what you're seeing, please hit that subscribe button on the YouTube channel, and、uh, we will see you next time.